tomorrow I will be 60. What does that mean? What does it mean to be 60? Do I... Well, I look different. My son, when he was growing up, he used to think you grew overnight on the night of your birthday. Will I grow or will I shrink? Is 60 about growing or is it about losing? Is it about a lack? Hey, I'm gonna be past it. Over the hill. <laughs> That's a bit mean. Oh <laughs> yeah, well I'm mean, I am. Because oh, I'm young and when you're young you don't care. I don't care because I'm young. I don't care because you feel really old to me. Actually anybody over like 30 feels really old to me. Yeah, I used to think that. I used to think that. And now, what do I think now? Now I'm about to be 60. Tomorrow I will be 60. What does it mean? Who will I be? Well, I think you'll just be the same person that you are today, actually. I don't think there's going to be any difference tomorrow, is there? I mean, come on. It's only a day. It's only a date. It's only a thing. Yeah, you're getting gradually older. Your body's getting gradually older. But, you know, one day is not going to make any difference. What will it be? To be 60. I'm scared. I'm scared that people will see me differently. I'm scared that they will think that I'm, yeah, past it. I feel, I'm scared that there's something in here about attraction and beauty and perfection. Perfection. I was writing something about perfection yesterday. What is this idea about perfection? It's this model of perfection and we all have to live up to it. And, and, and maybe I got a little bit near it when I was 20, but... Now I'm miles away from it, miles away from it, miles away. I just sneeze. <coughs> oh my god, sneezing, that's sneezing, that's dust that is. I need to blow my nose now because there's dust. Dust because I haven't tidied up enough, I need to tidy and I've got all these things I have to do, I've got to do all these things. And I don't really want to do stuff today, I just want to be today feel into what is this feeling? What is this feeling about really being 60? I've been reminded recently of when I was nearly 20, just coming up to 20, and a friend of mine said, oh, you know, these are the things you should do, these things before you're 20, while you're still a teenager. And, and we went to a pub and we went to a club and and then I met somebody that was really important to me, became really important to me almost instantly. And today I was thinking, oh, you know, is this something I want to do while I'm still in my 50s? What does that mean? In my 50s. I'm in my 50s. Here I am in my 50s. Well, for at least, you know, another few hours. Is this something I want to do? So then it feels like, now, you know, you can do anything you want to do, you can do after tomorrow. What's, what difference is it going to make? I don't know. I don't know what difference it's going to make to be 60. Is it going to make a difference to me? Am I going to feel different? Am I going to look different? Am I going to be different? Or is it all a process? Just go from one thing to the other slowly, slowly getting older, not really noticing until all those things start happening that like when I'm down on the floor and I get up and I get oh, that noise. I've been doing that for a while actually. I'm not gonna suddenly start doing that when I'm sick. I've been doing it for a couple of years now, like oh, oh, sound. Oh. And I think I used to like you know, look down on people, you know. For oh, fuck's sake, you're making that bloody noise. Oh, for God's sake, old people make these noise, they make such a fuss. But actually, I can't actually not make it. Well, I could not make it. I could, you know, tense myself and not make a noise. I don't know, it'd be even harder to get up, actually. It's much easier to get up. I make the noise. It sort of seems to help. 
a process, you know. And, and there's reasons why it's hard, you know. I stiffen up, my legs stiffen up. If I stay in one position for a while, I can still sit cross-legged for a while, but then it, it's hard to disentangle them. You know, the other night I sat by a fire all night, I could do that. But I was stiff in the morning and I was still tired. It's getting older, that's about getting older. It's not about a number, it's not about turning 60, turning 60, I turn, 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 turn around every now and then. I don't know. Will something amazing happen? Suddenly I will see the light. I will become an elder. I will become wise. Wise, yes, I will be wise. And everybody will come to me. They'll suddenly know that I am wise and they'll come and ask me things and I'll give them the right answer. And I know that I want to be that. I know that I want to be that elder person. I mean, there's some nice feelings when I get things right and help people, but I want to be me. I don't want to just be an elder. I want to be me with all my feelings and all my own vulnerabilities and all my own questions and my own need for support. I give support, I get support. That's how it works. It's a balance. Recently, I feel like I've found that balance better. But then that's partly because a whole load of things haven't been possible recently. And when they become possible again, how do I hold on to that balance? And then I'll be 60 and holding on to a balance and I'll be different and I don't know what to do. And it's just going to be really weird. I didn't like thinking about it in a way. I feel like people will judge me and they'll look at me differently. I've got this real sense that they won't see me as sexual anymore. supposed to admit that. I'm not supposed to tell that. And I'm not supposed to say. And it's a stupid thing really because I know who I am. And I'll still be who I am. I'll still be the person that I am. Whatever that is. And it changes. It changes every day. Every day. This last year I've been through so many transitions and transformations and skin shedding, bits and pieces coming out and away and that's going to continue. I can't see it not continuing because I'm me. More than 60, I'm still me. Or will I be still me? What if I change and become something else? What if I suddenly give up? and go, well, I can't sit on the floor anymore, I need to sit on a stool, and um, I can't, um, I can't manage, and um, yeah, I need more help, and, and I can't keep travelling, and I can't do all the things I want to do. What if that happens? What if that happens? What if I can't be the person that I am, or was? If I change the unrecognition, what if I become something I'm not? Mm. How can you become something you're not? If you become it, then you are it. Yeah, that's true. That's very true. Maybe I'll feel that I don't want to be it. I want to be what I used to be. Maybe I'll just be thinking about the past all the time. So you really think that, you know, just overnight you're going to suddenly change? Maybe, maybe not. Probably not. Unlikely, I guess. Who knows? Who knows? Suddenly, 60. Suddenly. 